Good afternoon, Nigerians. Good afternoon to all CEOs, men and women of non-governmental organizations and cooperative society limited that subscribe to UAAG of Apostle Dr. Ken Uwakama in Nigeria. Good afternoon to all the Bondu Elves and good afternoon to the prospective beneficiaries of UAAG grants. Today is the seventh day of July 2024. I am Temitokwe Eluyemi Balogun. I believe that God is with us. God is everything, the only source of everything we have been doing. I will return all the glory to God Almighty, who is able to do all things. I want to appreciate every one of you, both the CEOs, the bundle heads, the prospective beneficiaries, the, the imams, the afas, the pastors, the evangelists, and the traditional list that have been praying for me. I recognize every one of you because we are all involved in this program. And I appreciate all your prayers. I sincerely appreciate you all. I thank you all because you have shown me love and you, you show me that truly you want the truth of this program. If we recall that on the first day of June 2024, we started this race. And if you remember in our voice notes, in my voice notes, I assured Nigerians that 20, June 2024 will not pass before we get the truth of this grant. I am, I come your way today. This month of July is month of perfection, month of perfection, month of total freedom. That's what I call this month. To the glory of God, we have received the report. I don't want to start explaining all what has gone, uh, what we have done in the past, last month. But I just want to talk briefly about the report that we have at hand. I want you to believe me that Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, they are human rights organization that has zero tolerance to injustice. They have listened to both ends both will be the petitioners and the responders. And yesterday, we got the report. I think we should be happy first that we got the report as fast as they could. And I want to explain the importance of this report. That is why I am doing this voice note. Number one reason for this voice note today being the seventh day of July 2024 is to explain the importance of these reports. We have been fighting on social media. I am aware since last year many groups have came out on social media, they really want to know the truth. But this is the first one now that all of us, I have, we have seen it physically that yes, we want to see the truth. When I say all of us, don't misquote me. I am not the only one. I am just the lead leader the lead petitioner. I'm not the only one behind this. So we decided to take this fight 
out of social media because we needed to know exactly what is behind all these grants. And we have been summoned to to Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. We wrote our petition there and they invited UAAG management. Of course, we all know those that represented them. What happened on the 27th day of June 2024? What happened is what you saw in that report. Of course, the report is very lengthy. If they are to put everything down in my own way, because, you know, I am not a lawyer. I'm not human rights activist like them. But if we are to write all the things that happened, both from the petitioner and from the responder, I think uh, it's going to be more than more than that pages but they have selected the important ones that needed to be attended to and that was why you saw it like that and i want you to know that like i said without events there can never be history now that the committee for the defense of human rights have listened physically to both, uh, both the petitioners and UAAG management, we, the petitioners and UAAG management, they have something in their hand now to work with. And I want you to know that they are not the only ones seated that day. We saw it in their report that DSS were there, police officers were around. So therefore, this particular report is not ordinary report. And when you search the, the CDHR, when you search their past record, you will know that this particular program in their hand is not an ordinary program. This is not a program where a wife go to them to report her husband that are not taking care of her. This is not a man go to report uh, his wife that maybe pack away from his house. And when she was going, she packed all, all his belongings. No. This particular event comprises both regions, dialects in Nigeria. So therefore, you either you like it or not, allow them to follow the law of this country. On our part, we that uh, carry the matter to them, we are not ignoring. Of course, we would have loved if this thing can happen, pam pam, within a week, and we get the results. But when we got to Committee for the Defense of Human Rights, the UAAG management sent them an errand that the document in question is with presidency, precisely in our president's office. And uh, the chief of staff and the inspector general of police. So I when they saw when you people read the report instead of us to appreciate the committee for the defense of human rights to even sat down for hours including the dss representatives and the police representatives they were there for over four hours why both ends we were talking on top of our voices We, we do not want to be silenced by the, by the UAAG management. UAAG representative wanted to prove to this set of people representing the government and the CDHR that they know what they were doing, that they are real. 
you could imagine what these people will face in our hands and you all know what we are faced in the hands of our sub of our uh, members so if we carry that kind of aggressive to that kind of meeting you could imagine what the dss officers the police officers and the cdhr uh, representatives we experienced that day it was so 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 hot and after the whole thing they calm us down they received both hands reports discussions and were documented now they have brought their report out i just want you to read don't just read by reading sake read in between the lines and understand a lot of things even before the result will come out you should be able to pinpoint where the result is going you should be able to pinpoint it through this report and i've already told you that we are not enemies of uaag the only thing that will make us to be angry is when the result comes out and nothing to write home about if uaag grant is not real that is when we will now be angry because we are being slapped we have been injured that is when we will now face we need judgment we need justice but right now since the presidency is involved in the grant of uaag i just want every one of you to understand that cdhr committee for the defense of human rights cannot just uh, put a call across to presidency to be asking them questions why out there they can never put a call across to inspector general of police to be asking them questions even if they have direct contacts of these people neither can they just go to any of these offices to knock the door and be asking them questions they too are experienced this report in your hand that you are reading my fellow nigerians this particular report you are reading that you have seen yesterday is the one that they will now use to write letters to those areas that this is our findings in both ends honorable our able president please we needed your attention i'm just using this because if i want to write the letter that's what i will write uh, we needed your attention we realized we were told this organization told us that their government is in your custody and this thing is causing a lot of havoc in the public we want the copy of this report of this uh, documents i don't know how they want to write it to but me i'm just assuming if they submit the letter perfection maybe they have submitted the letter you should know that our government the each offices have their own work and there are protocols so these protocols will not allow somebody to just carry letter and go and put it on the table of our able president immediately and you'll be expecting results that oh god open it daddy open it open it and we need it urgently no it has to follow due process neither can they carry this report and the letter and go and put it on, on a chief of staff a table directly immediately this has to be submitted acknowledged the same thing go to other places the uag management representative mentioned so therefore if 
CDHR gave us 21 days. My fellow Nigerians, we should have the fear of God. This is our matter self. <laughs> if you are following us to different places we have entered, it is a total strange thing. I am not saying grants are not coming to Nigeria. Of course, grants are coming to the country. But the, the, the story so far on this our own, the story so far, until you get the result, you will understand me. So for somebody who does not even, they were not involved, they didn't know anything, we carry our issue, go to their table. And they, within a week, they bring out their report. They wanted to use this report to help us seek for the truth. And they say we should give them 21 days. Haba, we have waited over three years. We have waited over two years. We have been counting seven years. Some now, they saw it that irrelevant, that what, what is happening is irrelevant. There's, there can never be results. How can they say 21 days? Have the fear of God. And I want you to know, either you like it or not, either you believe or not, there is going to be results. That I promise you. 21 days to get the result of UAAG grant. To be sure, if there is any grant, call UAAG or not. My fellow Nigerians, we should be happy by now. Those of us that are sick, you should be praying for good health. Because right now, no eating, no, no eating places again concerning this case. That's what I want you to know. CDHR have gone very far. And they, they saw the importance of them addressing this issue as fast as they could. That's why we are seeing the results within a week that they said. We should even say kudos to them. Bravo to them because if you know the way manipulators manipulate both physically and spiritually, of course you know they normally tell us, they used to tell us that this diagram is 99% spiritual, which to some novice, that spirituality is from God Almighty. But I am telling you that God that created heaven and earth know that we need money. That is why he created money. So if somebody is collecting our money physically, and you want to give us money and he's talking about spiritual 99 spiritual then we should know that something is wrong somewhere and of course don't let anybody deceive you don't allow anybody to deceive you because there is no way this one we are doing can come out spiritually please don't let anybody deceive you this one now is not going to be sp spiritual. It is physical finding. We are, we are not using spiritual to find out the truth. And if you think CDHR is not working fast as you think, instead of you coming from the other camp to indirectly putting, uh, killing the, 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 the fire that is already boiling, to indirectly discouraging people. Please go straight to the presidency to collect the, the documents directly, as you said. It is fully possible for you. You are at liberty to do so. If you think the date they gave us is too long, ah, you are afraid, something is fishing, please carry that thing that is fishing and go directly to uh, the president of this country's office. Go and retrieve the documents by yourself. Never you come to my DM or any of our team 
to talk down of this date. Please. And never you come to our platform to say anything against this movement again. Because when we started, we started it on our own. And we have already told you, if they don't want to give us their billions, well, we are not afraid. So far, it's not everybody. It's not compulsory that everybody become millionaires. So if I'm not a millionaire, does that mean I will not live? If I am, I am not giving them billions. Does that mean I will not make it in life? I just have to explain in detail to us today. If you cannot follow the the real process, physical process that we are doing now please you are at liberty to do your own ah, you too can help us some people started and they joined this struggle when they see our seriousness and for your information don't let anybody deceive you i know they have connections and i know they have money we have given UAAG management enough money to slap us to 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 step on us as they like <laughs> but i want to assure you that if anybody is deceiving you that uh, cdhr can be manipulated let them know that it is very too late for them because we too we are always ahead and as i am talking to you now this matter this matter particular matter is everywhere in nigeria talk of any office we're there since you focus on cdhr we are in all other offices so oh yeah i want you to stand up go and use your connection to silence cdhr go and use your connection to international assembly and tell them they should not work on this pro, pro, on this issue again, that they should not act, they should not investigate. Oh yeah, go now. If you have that boldness, go and identify yourself. Tell them that this, this case is your own case, is family issue, that you want to carry it home. Go to DSS, go and tell them. This case, yo, this UAAG matter and all other grants, yo, is family issue between the grant handlers and the, the CEOs. And you really want, you just want them to stop. Go there. Since you have the connection, since you have the enablement, knock at the DSS door. Tell them to stop. Approach CDHR. Tell them to stop. Then go to the police station. We are the said the inspector general of police is informed. Go and tell them to stop. We can go national assembly. Enter different offices. You have capacity. You have people. You have connection there. Mention UAAG of Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama. Tell them to stop. That you are on top of these cases. Then you will understand yourself. This is not the era of I know people. This is not the era of I have money. This is not the era of I have connections that I can do as I like. We are talking of the masses. We are talking of the downtrodden. We are talking of the wounded masses, wounded people, widows, widowers, single parents, less privilege, hovens, motherless. We are talking of them. If you have that, if you have that audacity, kindly try it so that you will know how far. If you have that audacity to stop this movement, to tell them to sweep this case under the carpet, go ahead. Though. Go ahead, please go and try it. Since then you will know that in, uh, uh, they say khaki no be leather. Since then you will understand. We are trying to stop a lot of what do I even how do I I don't know the English I will use. Will I call it atrocities? We have a community within this country 
that they are making us. Many people are dying on daily basis. They are less concerned. And somebody will come out that ah, this government is not good. Oh, this government has not helping us. Oh, this government is good. This oh, this government is that. Oh, meanwhile, the few people punishing us on daily basis because they said they gave they bring grant for us. They are not even half of this government. We are shouting. This government representatives that we are we are talking down. They are not up to half of them yet. The atrocity they have committed in the life of many of us, it is only God that can weigh it. My fellow Nigerians, the case is opened. That is what I will just tell you. Everywhere in Nigeria, the case is widely opened. And what do we need? We need the truth about all the grants that have entered this country or what they have told us they brought to this country we need the proof so uag is just number one because the country director of uag apostle dr ken wakama came out and said the money has been shared so if somebody said that and our members are now running after us that is why we have to pick it from there. Let the government show us the list. Because they said the document is with the government. Then the government should be able to stand out the list of the CEOs, the NGOs, the cooperative society that have collected the said grants. Can't you read the, the report? My, my dear brothers and sisters, all of us, we, we, we say we are CEOs. Are we not gullibles, really? Are we not ashamed of ourselves that we left the job we were doing and we enter this race without asking questions? There was a question that they asked them, the representative of UAG. That one of us ask somebody from northern side ask that question among us that is UAAG registered with Corporate Affairs Commission? They still want to talk in spirituality, and they said it is not all questions they can answer, <laughs> but they said they assured the house that they that the money they are talking is here in nigeria the uag money is here in nigeria and even as we are talking the money can enter individuals ceos accounts that's our organization's accounts where is the proof where is the documents <laughs> they say it's with the government but the the, the company was the organization was never registered have we not gullible i just want us to please let's see ourselves that we have been we 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 actually we anxiously enter into a a journey so we enter into a bus that we don't even remember to ask the driver or the conductor, where is he heading to? We have been going inside this uh, bus. We have been going in this journey. There was no bus stop. And suddenly, suddenly the almighty God stopped the vehicle. All the plans to know what happened to the vehicle by the convener, by the driver, by the doctor, proof abortive. They call their, their mechanic to check it. The electrician went there. It was just like the horse that God stopped in the Bible. So everybody were tired sitting down because all efforts to move the vehicle proof abortive. And suddenly people started coming out. 
They alighted from the bus and some were looking for water to drink. Some were looking for where to cover their head because of the hot sun. Some were looking for where to sit down. Some were looking for to light to the electricity to charge their phone. Because they have been very, they have been carried away. And suddenly fresh air began to come and they started thinking. They have the opportunity to rethink. And they started asking the conductor, what is the next thing now? Where are we? Where, where are we heading to? This is exactly what is happening in Grant's community. We have entered the vehicle. We have been going since. Spending everything we have. But right now, the vehicle has stopped. Many of us have come down. We have, we came down and we have started asking questions. Where are we? What is the next line of action? So my dear brethren, my dear CEOs, the bundle heads, and the prospective beneficiaries, we are in now in the in the ask in the in we are now asking questions and the question needed answer the answer is coming right now it will come from the government of our country through cdhr it will come if truly there is uaag grant and all other grants this particular report is enough to know the truth because once they write them the truth will come out so it is now for us to wait the time we have been waiting the one we want to wait now he is just in a tinkling of an eye the result will come out that is what i want to talk to us about the report please my dear ceos read in between the lines of that report get understanding know your stand know what is coming out know the positive and the negative area of this report something that will come out from this report know it from now and start arranging yourself let me start arranging myself we are all gullibles we are all victims but if we know the truth of course the truth will now set us free the truth will set us free so that we can either collect the grant share to our members half our own and half our peace or if there is no grant of uaag then we go back to our work then we will stop we will stop the, the the hope we will stop changing the way of the lord we will stop changing the story we will not be giving hope to this helpless masses i can listen to some people that they i want to throw them out of the house they want to do this fine the reason why some of them can believe that something can help them is because of the way they told us about this grant and the assurance they gave to many to all of us so if somebody is relying on this grant yes we can say he is he or she is right but why are we relying on something we don't even know the where about so now we will know if we are still going to rely on this or we go back to our house so that everybody we pick the broken pieces of his or our life and start again waiting for 21 days on or before 21 days mark my words on or before 21 days i know cdhr i know the way they do their work they don't normally jump they don't jump protocols they will do it diligently but they have already finalized whole thing it's only letter to write to the government authorities that are holding the document of UAAG. Then immediately they get it, they will come back to us. We will know.
we are together in this so be strong so that you either receive positive answer or negative answer don't go and collapse and don't go and enter depression those of us that are in, in, in depression mode before we are coming out this is not the end of the life but if anybody see me I tell me to tell you, I'm a as this or an enemy, because I'm digging deep to know the truth of this grant. Hey, please, yo, I am not your enemy. Neither will I be your enemy. But if you chose me as your enemy, it is between you and God Almighty that created us. But I know that I'm not your enemy. The question we are supposed to ask for how many years? Is what we are now running at a scatter to ask. We are like a mumu in every offices we enter. But we will swallow the shame. We will absorb the shame so that we can get the results. My fellow Nigerians, CEOs, go back to that report, read it one after the other, understand some points there, hold on to it. Why we await the, re, the, re, the reply of government authorities concerning UAAG grants. I want to commend the effort of all the people that have been appreciating God on our behalf since the beginning and even since yesterday. Some barristers know the importance of this report. Some notable people amongst the CEOs, they know the importance of this report. Even leaders that are not even CEOs, coordinators, bondues, ordinary subscribers that read the report, they know the importance. I want to appreciate you as you have been praying and as you have been praising God because surely we will get the truth of UAAG grants. Surely we will get it. And also, I want to let you know that the other grants in Nigeria that we have subscribed to, I want you to know that this particular move now, we make the remaining one easy for us to know the truth. We have written petition not only for UAAG, and the petition does not mean to crucify them as some people make them to understand or uh, bring it to the open. The, the salient question we needed is just the proof to be sure that there is a grant called UAAG, to be sure that there's a grant or empowerment called so, 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 so. And now that they are done with the first report, the, the letter is what they will, they will be expecting the report, the reply from the government authorities. Of course, if government answer these questions, the letter carried some other grant and last details this particular one is enough to even ask the remaining questions which i believe our government will answer i believe it and i strongly believe it that they have our interest in this matter and they will they will be ready to answer they will give direction they will tell us the truth if there is any grant we will know if there is no grant, we will know. Then justice prevail. In every area that this thing comes out, justice must prevail. I want to appreciate you. And please, another important thing I want to discuss. I have not sent anybody out as my spokesperson. Like I told you, if you are calling some numbers, and be asking them the update about these women and men because we want to include men now because we have a lot of men in our in our in our midst that follow us so if you have been calling numbers or related with people to ask them questions about this movement women seeking the truth about uad grants and other grants in Nigeria. Please, whatever thing that happened between you, it is between you. 
we are not in the known and we are not responsible for anyone we made ourselves straight to the public we are we told you what we need we we explain our terms to you we explain our demands so somebody coming to represent us outside what we are looking for we are not responsible and if anybody in the future come out to say anything otherwise to what we are doing we are going to face you legally please there are some reports of you calling people and showing them how hungry you are of course many of you are calling me you are sending messages to me that you have not eaten for two three days what gave you the assurance that i'm eating too if you think that if we are if we that came out to know the truth if we are okay do you think we will not just left the money like that that we have spent and just walk away i made people to understand that my coming out this is not the era of doing humanitarian services that i've been doing because i am not the owner of the money that i've been giving out before but that you are calling me that you are hungry that is not the reason why i come out right now the major reason i come out right now is because we needed the truth god has been sustaining you before we came out so sending messages to us that you are hungry you needed us to help you you are in the hospital you want us to send money to you where is the money we are going to give you where is the money you have been sustaining yourself god has been helping you can't you wait so that we can focus on this struggle stop calling us stop sending messages to us for help because we don't have the help and if anybody is giving anybody money or just because you have the, they have your number please we are not interested and we are not part of it because this particular struggle is to find out the truth about all the grants we have entered into, we have subscribed to. Not about we going out to give out to the needy. We, 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 are, not, yeah, we, we are not giving out uh, to the people we, do not, we don't have access to. We give out in the past. And surely we will go back. I personally, I will go back to the work that I've been doing before. We contribute money on our own to give to the needy, to give to the to give widows. We pay some certain school fees to some some of the well, the motherless, orphans, according to our ability as we contribute in our organization. So I will be glad to go back. But right now, we are not doing that. So stop calling us and stop calling anybody on our behalf. Please, uh, women seeking for the truth of UAAG grant and all other grants in Nigeria, we do not have representatives. Any updates you needed to know, you go to our platform telegram platform you will get it there if uh, we are writing and we see that some people will not understand then i will come out to do voice notes on this note i am telling you today stop calling anybody on our be on my behalf i didn't expect you to still be doing it stop calling anybody on my behalf i don't have representatives I do not give out numbers to anybody to call. And that's my number sent out for you to assist me. Please, I beg you, don't call the number again. Because allow us to pick the important call that is usable for both of us. The cause concerning this struggle, we needed to pick it as at when due. Because we are expecting results from many places. So if you are engaging that number, we see you as our enemy. We see you as the people that are disrupting this struggle. Just chat me up and wait patiently. Let me answer you. Then I want to talk about the finance. 
I want to appreciate all the people that have been helping me. It has not been easy. <laughs> it has not been easy. Those that have seen me, you know, they said, I'm hungry, I look haggard, I look tattered. Yes, of course, I did. Because they deprived me of my freedom. They deprived me of seeing my family, my, my beautiful children. They deprived me because I'm afraid even if I want to die, I don't want them to kill my family. So I have to run away, hide myself, so that if they eventually want to kill me, let them kill me alone for asking for the truth. So they deprive me of the freedom that I'm supposed to enjoy. So that's why it is mostly difficult sometimes for me to have three square meal, it's difficult for me to go around as I like because I'm very far away from where I'm supposed to be. And I want to appreciate all of you that have assisted this struggle. You have assisted us spiritually. You have sent out your solidarity and you are financially be of assistance i want to appreciate you yes i sent a voice note out and i am very i am how do i call it i am afraid because of the past events i don't want you people to see me that i want to make you i want to extort you People that have come around, they have seen how much I'm spending daily, going from one place to the other, writing, making calls. We needed to enter some areas. We need to travel from one state to the other just because of this struggle. Those around me know I have been trying myself to collect money from people that I know, to borrow money. And uh, those of you that now came to me, that you wanted to help me. I was scared that day because why was I scared? Because calls that came that day were up to 40 within one hour that they wanted to assist me. But unfortunately, I don't want something. Unfortunately, some people took my message. They, they were angry. They took offense from my voice notes. If you see me physically, I am not arrogant. No, I'm not arrogant. If I have millions in my account, I wouldn't expect anybody to assist me. But I was just being scared. I was just being afraid. I don't want anybody to use anything against me because we have done a lot of things wrongly in the past. So if I should post my account number out, Number one, some people might be paying money there outrageously just to in, in, indict my name. And I don't want third party arrangements because if some CEOs, I'm sorry to say this, if ordinary individual, they can use the opportunity to say, we want to send money to that woman in Abuja. So you people have to contribute so, so, so amounts. And they will collect huge amount of money from members again and be sending little to me then all these things will now be on my head again. They will say they have paid me millions of Naira. That is why I came out immediately to talk. Not that I don't need money. And because many people have objected the terms and conditions that I give, I am very sorry. Public, I'm telling you right now, pardon me for the way I, I put the terms and conditions. I want you to know that I'm not alone in this struggle. And I do take uh, advice from the elderly ones. I do take advice from people that we, we work together. But since you said the way I said you should be help, doing, if you want to help me, you don't like it. I'm coming out this seventh day of July, 2024. I want to apologize to every one of you that I'm sorry, but I've just told you the reason why I did that. At the same time, I am sorry. So let's now do it this way. 
the about two people have said they want to help me they were they have even asked for my candidates i did not drop it up in this moment because i felt bad well people want to assist me i'm afraid i don't want to be silenced and i don't want to have another name which they plan to give me but now i have to come out again for those that really really want to help me because let me tell you the truth there is no way masses will not assist me there is no way you will not help me only that i do not want any help that will now turn to extortion give me reasonable amount of money that you can voluntarily give me so that i can move around at ease going from lagos to abuja from abuja to lagos from abuja to north from north abuja to east from abuja to south from abuja to west and going back from one place to the other you know it's going to cost me a lot of money and probably when i'm going i will not go alone i'm still going to go with about one or two more people henceforth so if you are ready to assist me i am once you chat me up i don't know how i i will even do it once you chat me up i'm going to give you the account number that you are going to pay to many people have called me and i should put my account details in the platform that's where seeking for the the proof women seeking for the proof of uaag and other grants no i don't want to do it like that because if i put it publicly you know what will be the end of this and many our people know how to fight wrongly so i don't want them to fight us just to tarnish our image if you are interested you still want to assist me then when you private chat me after this voice note i will give you the account number you are going to pay to when you give me this money i have a book already that i'm writing everything so that will not be a problem because i needed money we needed money to continue this struggle and i want you to know that we are not ending it in this uaag alone i have told you people gave me over 121 list they said about 75 are current so some of these ones that we have already gotten their details and their address yes we will start working on them from this week that we are approaching and then those people that we could not trace their address again so far they have name and phone number yes the government will help us out i need more of your prayers because spiritually they are trying their best to fight me and they are trying their best with the money that they have in their hand to silence this struggle they are trying their best they are trying their best to pay enough money in different areas ways but i want to tell you that they are just wasting that money because anybody that comes out to tell them that he can help them to destroy this struggle to stop this struggle and they give the person money he's just eating their money the struggle has gone beyond which somebody that that somebody can just come and say he want to rubbish he want to silence i want you to know that these people pay money to so 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 people to help them destroy this thing they are just wait both both of those people both the people collecting money and the people paying money they are just wasting their time because of a truth nothing can stop this struggle the only thing that will make us to stop is for us to see the end the truth we are looking for so i need more of your prayers i need more of your solidarity i need more of your support both physically spiritually and financially i don't need extravagant money I don't need you to, I don't want you to go and borrow money to give me. I don't want you to go and take loan to give me. 
I don't want you to go and sell your properties to give me so that I can continue moving. Give out of the little you have. Give me out of the little you have. I spent how many days now in Abuja? Over three weeks paying hotel bills. You should know how much I'm spending daily. And now that you want to voluntarily assist me, because we need money also to face these people. We too, we need money to face them. So that if they call us to come so, so, so time, so, so, so day, so, so, so hour, in so, so, so place, I will be there, we will be there. I don't want to carry a lot of people along because we have seen the, the way they are buying our people. Buying them one by one. We have seen it. That is why we refuse to tell them where we are going. They never knew how many places we have entered. They never knew how many places our letters have entered. They never knew how many places, how many people that are interested in this, in this case. So we need your support. All the imams, all the pastors, the genuine ones that have been praying, please continue praying for us. Continue praying for us. Victory is sure. So my dear people, I'm sorry this uh, voice note is very long. I'm not sure if I have covered everything you needed to hear. But I'm assuring you today, the seventh day of July 2024, if you want to agree with me that we told you that June will not end before we get to, to know the truth, if you go to different platform now, God is already addressing the issue. Nobody can come out and lie to you again. And that is even an happiness for us. It's a joy to us that we are able to put an end to all those hyping. Because we needed to breathe. Masses needed to breathe. We needed the truth. And God will bring it for us. It's already at our doorstep. If only we see it. If only we perceive it. If only we smell it. If only we sense it. By the grace of Almighty God. The truth is at our doorstep. And surely we will get it. Let all other grant handlers. Let them package all their documents. And usher themselves by themselves. Either to the Committee for the Defense of Human Rights. Or directly to EFCC to showcase their documents. That's just the case. Anytime they are now ready to give us the money, we are glad to wait. But without that, no retreat, no surrender. God bless you. I'm Temitokpa Iluyemi Balogun.